being level 30 with a level 38 kinky border with 42 attack <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Ryuji, right? Right? Hmm? What's up? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Uh, I was just thinking we should choose a code name for you too. <laughs> yeah, when when I think of like actual things that matter, that's what I think. Like, damn, dude, we should pick a code name. Oh, thanks for the <laughs> thanks for the follow, Blunt. Appreciate it. Oh. Uh, code name? I'm Skull. He's Joker, and that's Mona. I mean, everything's a, a JoJo reference. Even Personas are JoJo references, right? Judging by your costume... I mean, she's got that tail and stuff, so... What do you think? Oh, I, I feel like this one's kind of copyrighted. Oh god, these the other two are worse. Like, I, I don't want to... I, I can't say that yet on we, we we just met um you know to to um avoid copyright issues at kitty woman wait is that what you're going to call me from now on i am so not down with this on we need to avoid the copyright so when we get famous off of this we can sell it okay what do you want to be called then um there's something better than just a little cat P5 is actually based off JoJo. Yeah, it's it's crazy how long ago JoJo's came out. Maybe Panther? Uh, it's not. It ain't no Kitty Woman, but I. That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Huh? Why? Cause it sounds more ferocious. Than Kitty Woman? Are you for real? <laughs> She's a cougar. Morgana, I'm the only one who can simp over on in this party, not you. Don't call me that. So, gotta figure that out too. More importantly, Kamoshida. Oh yeah, that's what we were doing. Right, let's go. <laughs> Alright, Ryuji. Gang's all here. Alright, let's start fresh and get going. It's game time from this point forward. What have we been doing beforehand? I'll teach you guys the basics of infiltrating a palace as we go. Counting on you, cat monster. Hello? My master would like a word with you. Am I in trouble? Don't just nod along and go in. What? This is how you get abducted, Akira. Or Ren, whatever you want. Joker, there. The prisoner has returned. Hi. Well done. It seems you have remembered my words. Well, not all of them. I think the one thing I remembered was your nose, but yeah, sure. You truly make it worth rehabilitating you. I am pretty awesome. Um, yeah, but what do you? What's all this rehabilitation stuff? <laughs> I am not attempting to withhold information from you. The essence of the rehabilitation that you must complete will be explained in due time. Okay. Once you encounter allies who share your ideals and discover your place in reality, only then will I explain it all. Such a day should not be far off. This time, I wish to introduce you to the aid we are providing. Um... Like, is it a band-aid? Do I get free medicine? Due to your potential in wielding the power of the wild card, you can handle more than one persona. That power holds infinite possibilities. We will assist you in nurturing that potential. Wow, you're so caring. You give me my own my own room in this building and wow, just the hospitality. To that end, we must execute your persona. I would never actually say that if I was in that this position, though. I'd be scared of Igor. And maybe the lollies. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. Personas are personalities that exist within you. So do I have, like, multiple personality disorder or something? Thus, 
You will only be discarding old personalities to have them be reborn as new ones. Fair. By discarding your old identity, you give way to a new one. Hence, we call that process execution. Think of it as the fusion of your personas. To start, select the first persona you wish to fuse. Okay, and remember what I was saying before, we do want to come out of this palace with Hierophant, Lovers, Chariot, and Death. So we should probably... I'm not going to off knock Arsene out of here just yet. Um, let's do Magician. Now, before you select the second persona, allow me to tell you something greatly important. Do you remember how I mentioned forming bonds with confidants? Yeah. Personas are the power of the heart. The stronger those bonds, the stronger your personas will be. Okay. In other words, the effects of your bonds on execution, or fusion, if you will, are quite substantial. When you fuse a persona that shares its arcana with one of your bonds, it will gain great power. Thanks for the tutorial, Igor. This will be a guiding principle for your forays into fusion. Try not to forget it. Okay. Moreover, there is one thing I must warn you about. You cannot create a persona that surpasses your current level. Oof. This is because the resulting persona would be too powerful for you to handle effectively. What if we like grabbed onto each other, like in um Guardians of the Galaxy? And we like me, Ryuji on and Morgana, we all just scream together and bear with it, you know? What can we do that? Now then, That's check Power Ranger shit. Results and choose a persona that suits no? your stature. Okay, understandable. Um can I find anything that would give me a Hierophant? That's what... probably not. That's hoping for a lot, actually. Um... I think we just go for Mandrake. Ooh, but... Actually, uh... I think we go for Mandrake here. Actually, I think all of these are just in... the palace, right? The only problem we might have is getting a Hierophant. Because I think... I want to say the lowest leveled one's level 9. I want to say. I don't know. I don't have the list, but I think... I think that was the problem my first time around that I had. Um, or in base P5. Uh... And I don't want to get rid of our son. I feel like getting rid of him now is just kind of, eh. But we might just have to for Mandrake. Unless if we can get a, uh, oh, we're only level five. Well, our Senate was fun. This is the form your new persona is expected to take after fusion. It's possible for them to inherit skills they normally wouldn't gain. These skills and specialties are distinct from one another. Skills are traits that can be passed along through fusion. Okay. Um... I guess we just take... Lunch. Yeah? I, I don't think it's gonna matter. Wait. Oh, it just inherits everything? That's cool. Okay. Yeah, why not just get Mandrake? It's another death. Uh, let's go for... It, does it really matter at this point? I don't think it does. A decreased defense for one foe. We're getting lunge, so it's like... Leave... It's like, I don't care. On has Augie. Let's get. Let's keep Aha. Gain new power. I wonder. Your respective confidant relationship is at rank one. Will it receive new power? Oh, it's Igor talking. 
Are you certain this persona is acceptable? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Girls, I, Arsene. Let us begin. <laughs> I am Arsene, the other you who exists within. Well, you're about to leave. Though I may disappear this moment, I shall always be at your side. Yay! We shall meet again when your fate reaches its conclusion. <laughs> First execution. I'm about like eight or nine hours in right now. I think. I'm Mandrake. You know, the deadly flower blooming in your heart? That's me. Don't let this mask shrivel up. How many into Bay, though? Uh, a few. A few. Behold, the Death Confidant is awakening your person's hidden persona's hidden power. Oh, we got lunge. Awesome. It's a physical attack. Ah, how impressive. A stronger persona has been born from the body and blood of the old. It shall be your new strength. Uh, what do you mean? Its worth will be made clearer when you return to the field of battle. Okay. Gather personas and bring them here. Gather a great many, execute them, and continue to give birth to even stronger personas. Yeah, just keep killing. Developing your powers as such will play an integral role in the stand against ruin. So that your rehabilitation goes well. We have a variety of rituals to choose in regard to executions. Mm. Is there like a patty cake ritual? That's like, we don't kill them and we just level them up or something? And depending on the effort no? you put in, our master might consider further development of new rituals. Cry your tears of joy, inmate. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> your heart Caroline, is Jesus. The strength of rebellion. It seems your rehabilitation is proceeding smoothly. A joyous fact indeed. In anticipation of this, I have prepared a gift for you. I hope that you shall accept it. Is it whatever grew your nose that long? Because I might need it for some other parts. Oh no, it's not? Okay. I feel a deepened connection with Igor. Third eye, see things normally invisible to the naked eye by pressing L2. All right. Cool. Thanks, bud. Not what I wanted, but this works. Activating third eye in both the real world and the metaverse will let you see things normally hidden. Use third eye to reveal various hints. Actually very helpful. It's a thief skill, allowing one to tap into their sixth sense and see what is hidden in the dark. What other parts is the question? Ah, uh, you know. I believe you can handle it now. My May biceps. You devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Now then, if you have any requests, we will heed them. Yeah, can I keep fusing or no? Because I need to find a Hierophant. Unsubbed. I don't even have a sub button, so, you know, whatever. Persona Fusion, Confidence and Fusion, and Skill Inheritance have been added to Tutorial School. Ooh. Oh. Uh, can you... It's me. Do you have business with me? Please watch your tongue when you are in front of Master. Oh my god. <laughs> Caroline doesn't even talk to you. Jeez. Alright. Do you have business with me? You'd like to read the compendium? Wait. Registration? Okay, so all were okay. Um, can I register? 
Uh, register all. Are you sure? Yeah. Cool. So registering your personas saves your persona. So that <laughs> So I, I have the um Phantom Thieves edition, so they give these to you for free. <laughs> I don't think I could pull them out, but that'd be freaking hilarious. Um How do I sort? By level. Yeah. Oh, why is it at the bottom? That's weird. I want to find Arsene. Okay, cool. We still have Arsene. What's the lowest? Was I right with the level 9 on Hierophant? That's the lowest? Yeah, it is. God dang. That's gonna blow. Okay. Well. Are you finished? What? Yeah, I'm heading back. No slacking off. Okay. Something wrong? You were just standing around all of a sudden. Uh, no, nothing's wrong. To my teammates, it looked like I wasn't moving. Why are you spacing out like that? It's kind of hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. I mean, I'm never thinking. So there's your answer, Ryuji. It's fine. Let's just say he's a man of high caliber. We're counting on you, Joker. They bought it. We got off. So, where do we start? Let's head to the safe room we found last time. It's in the first floor of the West Building. That's pretty close to our usual entrance. It should be a pretty decent starting point. Okay. The safe room? Oh yeah, it's her first time with us. Well, it'll make sense when you see it. Well, let's head out. Oh thank God we can quick quirk travel, quick travel. Awesome. You could receive aid from allies via the Thieves Guild. This is available when infiltrating the metaverse while connected online. Ah, I don't care about this. Cool. Um, R1. Cool, so we're already at the West Building. What's up with this place? It's a gap in the cognition, a safe room, if you will. Yeah, still not getting it. Right. Well. I'm fuzzy on the details, but I think it's some kind of hotspot where shadows can't find us. No, I didn't know. I didn't think a place like that existed in here. So what do we do in the safe room? Take a break, duh. Oh, and we talk about stuff too. So the place is for resting up and plotting. Got it. I guess I'll rest for a bit, too, then. Let me know when we're ready to head out, Joker. In safe rooms, you will be able to consult with your team members at the center table. By choosing to talk, you will be able to chat with your team members about your progress through the palace, as well as check on your party. Oh. Alright, the safe room discussion reminds me. This is for you. You can only use it in safe places, but when you do, it'll take care of all the exhaustion from our past fights. We'll let you decide when to use it. Just make sure the time's right. Some items such as healing f IV can only be used in safe rooms. You can use these items after you enter a safe room and select consult. Areas where you can use these items are limited. However, they will greatly heal your party, so use them in emergency situations. What are you gonna do, Joker? Um, let's continue exploring. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we literally just got in here. We should be fine. I say that. Oh, look at the gang. Gang just lounging around. Well, that was fun. All right, let's do this. <laughs> yeah, let's do this, Ryuji. Okay. So, now that we're back in the safe room, um, or we were, uh, we have some more stuff to do. And we haven't explored this way yet, so let's go. And I still have to- We have no idea what awaits us ahead. Here, you better take these. 
These fine tools have my seal of approval. Use them wisely, alright? Cool. Press square while investigating the metaverse to use Thief Assist, giving you access to multiple helpful functions that will aid your progress. Auto Recover uses your party's healing skills on all party members. Be aware that doing this consumes required amount of SP. You can use also use infiltration tools such as smoke screens to quickly flee battle. These tools will give you advantage. Okay. I can steal a barrel? Oh, what? I steal this barrel too? No. Okay. Show me your true form. So we're looking for death and hierophant. Well, we don't need Pixie, because I'm pretty sure we already have one. Uh, should we focus on... Should we focus on getting money? I feel like we should. Actually, I just all out deck. Oh, that's fine. It's so nice having, like, enemies that are just weak to gun. Like, just anybody can knock them down. We gotta appreciate it while it lasts, because that it's not gonna last forever. We got Plant Bomb. Cool. Wait, Ryuji only had Zeo that whole time? Okay. I guess so. And my PS4 is showing itself, it's fine. Oh my lord. You gonna turn around again? Thanks. Show me your true form. Pyrojack. Or jack o lantern whatever. Uh, I don't think we need you, do we? No, because you're... What are you? What is... He's Magician, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just had a huge brain fart there. Uh... There we go. I knew he was weak. To, I thought he was weak to wind at least. Oh. Just killed. Um, yeah, let's use it one more time, and then we'll just... We'll just basic attack this one down. Oh. All of them are, like, dying pretty... Ryuji? Come on. Just gotta keep getting money. Money okay. and equals power. Easy win. They were nothing. All right. Well, let's just keep going, I guess. Oh my! Uh. And there's one here too. Now let's that we've expanded our roster. Let's try it, that thing. What are you scheming? A way for us to gain the advantage during a battle. Called a baton pass. Actually, I'll show you what I mean while we deal with the shadow. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, I'll show you an example first. You better watch closely. I saw. Opportunity to baton pass and swap your turn with someone else. Sure. Baton pass. Yeah, this has been around for a bit. If you've played a Persona game, you should know what this is. Um, but anyway, you can now pass the one more you obtain to another party member. The recipient of the baton pass will have their attack, power, and healing ability increase. If they pass it on again, that party member's stats will also increase. If you successfully pass the baton to all four people in your party, the fourth party member will be able to use a skill without 
using any HP or MP. Pass the baton to an another party member by pressing R2. Now strike the enemy's weakness and give the baton pass a try. You powered up from the baton pass. Let's go. Okay, we'll do just that. Can, can we just keep baton passing or no? Oh, wait, was the fire animation always in? I think that's new. Like, around on. Or am I just forgetting? We're gonna do the full baton pass. Heck yeah. Oh, it's. Oh, we got a tech. We can technical it? Okay, we got a hold up. Um, let's actually talk to. Do we talk to Bicorn again? Actually, we haven't talked to Pixie. Like, actually. Um. Show me the money. Uh, how about you? Show me the money. There's nothing I could say that'll get through to some snot-nosed brat. Welp. We tried. You asked for this. All out of tag. Oh my god, we're so awesome. We're getting a lot of plant bomb. Pixie with the level up, nice, nice. I'm just focusing on getting- I knew you guys would nail it. Improve improving yourselves is important, but learning to fight as a team is just as vital to our survival. By coordinating our efforts, we can- Take control of the battle as often as possible. The Tom passes will help a lot with that. Okay. So this palace itself is pretty linear. But you'll definitely see, like, in future palaces, it's not, like, not that way at all. There's a lot, a lot of puzzles, but of course, this is the first palace of the game, so... I would hope it's easier. There's one here too. Oh well. Guess we gotta ambush it from behind again. Well, sure, if you wanna go about it the orthodox way. This is a more stylish route. Listen up. See those sofas on the sides of the hallway? Hide behind those so you can get closer to the enemy. Once it's in range, jump on in. And rip its mask off. Whoa, that does sound pretty damn cool. This isn't a movie. Now, let's carry out our plan. With your poise, you should be able to pull it off. Give it a try. And yes, this is something that was done in the flash forward, but in your cover, press X to hide behind it. From there, you can check out what's ahead and enemies cannot find you. If there's another hiding spot nearby, you can press X to jump there instantly. Also, if you are within range of an enemy, you can Attack from cover for a guaranteed ambush. Make good use of this to gain the advantage, however, be aware that cover cannot be used if an enemy is already chasing you. Let's do it. Show me your true form. And still nothing that... Like I'm looking for. Did I read that wrong? Some other way. Ah, we'll just use gun. Looking cool, Joker. Just shoot the gun. Gun's OP. Oh, 
Oh, we're out of ammo. Whoops. Um... Mandrake. Oh my god, do we not have anything that... He's weak to? Oh, we might be able to... Ah, screw it, we're just gonna basic attack. We should all be faster than Pyrojack anyway. Um, this feels bad. Oh, we haven't even used Carmen. I guess we can use Carmen. Here you go. So I think I need to be a lot more conservative about um using our MP and SP. Just because we're trying to get through so much of the palace. So... Gonna keep that in mind. Oh, damn. That totally works. That was so cool. They totally can't spot us while we're hiding. Right. And that's right. So long as we lay low like that, enemies won't even notice us. Whenever we hide, we can take our time preparing for the next ambush. And yeah, you can look around while hiding. Um, the L lets you change the direction you're faced. So you can leap different directions. And not only can you ambush the enemy while hiding, but you can also avoid enemy contact and loot nearby treasure caches. If there are multiple adjacent locations, you should, you could move too. Use left and right to choose your destinations. You can also use up to focus on enemies or down to focus on treasure. And we're done. Come on, let's go. Sounds good, on. And yeah, it kind of works like this. I'll reveal your true form. You gotta go simp? Bye. Understandable. Godspeed. <laughs> Take care, JPS. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. <laughs> I think we're just gonna be using gun. It makes it so much easier now. At least for these beginning levels. Because they made the change that now just all of your, um... Uh... What's it called? Your gun replenishes every single fight. So that's so helpful. You have no idea. Uh, let's talk to it. Uh, show me the money. There's a pixie inside you. Cool. I'll be cheering for the two of you. Oh, you wanted more money? Well, I hope this is enough. You must feel really happy that I gave you something. Yeah, I'm gonna go, but don't forget, this is King Kamashita's castle. Victory. So, yeah. We're trying to get a shitload of money, and I think I can, where can, yeah, so we only have 3,500 uh, yen right now, so we're definitely going to need to keep doing that. Kind of sucks, right? Uh, Joker. look, there's something in there. But the bars are blocking our way in. If he's protecting it this securely, it has to be important. That means there should be a way in and out of here. Joker, do you think you can solve the mystery of this room? I'm sure your observation skills will help you get through. Using third eye inside palace can reveal hidden items and hints. I was like, wait. This isn't... Where are we?
Can I get a... Oh, we're West Building 2F, and what is this? Oh, we're still in the West Building? What am I misremembering about this? Uh, we'll be fine, I'm sure. Right? Yeah. Oh, so this is actually really helpful. That's cool. Can I use this? Thank you. So yeah, that's the basic intro to just how it works, because you shouldn't really have had a need to use it until now, but yeah. As expected from you, Joker. Cool. We can get in and examine the castle map. Hmm. What the hell? He had it all locked up and shit, but it was just some old map. You're hopeless. Don't you realize how vital a map is? Now then. And having this will give us a better grasp of the topography of the palace. It's a true necessity for a Phantom Thief. This should make securing a route much easier. Wait, does it say where the treasure is on there? Oh, actually, it seems like this map is incomplete. There might be more of them around. Wanna get going? Oh. Let's start checking what we can. We'll probably find another map along the way somewhere. Palace map, when you find a map, any areas you have not yet reached will be highlighted in red. Use L1 and L2 to view the floors. Sounds good. Well then, let's just keep on trucking. I'll reveal your true form. It's so nice getting being able to do that now. I, I get so nervous when I don't have the sneak abilities. Like, for real, though. We're just going to use gun, I think, every single time. Especially if there's a pixie involved. Because with this, at least we are um, conserving our MP and SP. And that's really what you want to be doing in this palace. Um, especially so you can get through it. And I messed up there by not getting money, but you know what, whatever. The only items we get are plant bombs, it seems. Man, that was easy. Shadow spotted. Oh god. Show me your true form. <laughs> I I totally just <laughs> I totally froze up. I did not know what I like what I was doing. I was like, oh shoot. Uh, let's just... No, I, I can't bring myself to do it. We just gotta use the gun. Yeah, I took one out. We're just shooting at it. That's all we gotta do. See? This game's easy now. <laughs> no, I do appreciate them doing this, though. Um, the gun was really underused. Or underutilized, I feel like. That's all it takes for me. So it's nice at least having a... Uh... What did that say? Oh, Central Hall. More bars. And the thing we need to pull is on the other side. Should we find another way? You need to train more. And try looking around some more. We need to find something we can use to proceed in this infiltration. Focus. Is it silver cutlery? Probably not, huh? But uh, my locked collar is pretty good, too. 
Oh god, I thought I just jumped off. Okay guys, see ya. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. <laughs> oh, okay. There, the, there's a, like another mini-map. Understood. Uh... Oh, that just leads us back to there. Let's go. I'm glad you just can't run off and, like, just fall. <laughs> like, that'd be very troubling. Dun, 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 dun. And there we have it. Wait, ain't this the entrance? So it's connected to here? What? Looks like you can get down from here, too. This would probably make a good infiltration point. Um... Actually, I should probably... Oh, wait, I can just press... What is it? Options to save? Yeah. I'm gonna save really quick. Because it's always good to keep saving. I've learned that the hard way. Most namely in my last playthrough that I did on this channel. Um... Can just jump down. Oh god. Then the door's right there. So, what now? This door ain't opening. Phantom thieves don't just barge in through the front door. We used the way we discovered earlier. So this way. Oh, we actually have to go all the way around. So that was just us securing the infilt. Wait, what is this? Aha. Wait, but... Focus. No, there's nothing to... Just gotta make sure there's no loot around. You can't even go down. Ah, oh, that's fine. Hello? Oh. I was like, wait, I... All of this I just forget about. Cool. But yeah, now we have this as a passageway that we can use. Pretty helpful, I would say. I can feel it. Oh, I meant to climb down? There we go. So now we're on the other side of the door, but then again... Our path is being blocked, but there's a new door here that we haven't gone in. So let's go. Cognition here is weak. There Ooh. Be a safe room nearby. Treasure? Oh. It's locked. It needs the, a lockpick. You have one of those. Want to open it? Um, do we? Uh, ignore it for now. I can't remember all the chests that are in here, and actually... Since we did just save, and since I don't remember what all the chests are, so I'll have to brush up, this is a good time for us to stop. I think. I'll save again, just to, you know. Oh wait, let's just go get the save point. Right here. Or the safe room, sorry. This looks usable. Let's take a break, Joker. You can now quick travel to the central hall too. This should make this should make a good base. We can resume our infiltration from here if we take a break too. Cool. So now that we have this, let's save. I do need to brush up, be a little bit more prepared for stream, so I'm not like taking a, those extra few seconds to find things. But other than that, we're good.